Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome to my channel, A Card Day's Work. I'm super excited to be a part of a collaborative hop today celebrating Trinity stamps. We're all showing different ways to make shaker cards or tags or whatever. As long as it's a shaker, it's part of this hop. And I couldn't be more excited to share this cute little card with you guys that I made using some Trinity stamps products. I know you're going to love it, so let's go ahead and get started. For my card today, I decided to do a clean and simple version of a shaker card to keep the focus on the shaker element itself rather than all the bells and whistles of a more fancy card. So what I'm doing here is just using my Mini Misty and some hybrid black ink from scrapbook.com to stamp out this super cute cupcake image from Sweet Surprise from Trinity Stamps. It doesn't matter that I got that smudge in the center because I'm going to be cutting that out with this craft knife. Um, this would be a lot easier if you had the core coordinating die for this set because then you could just cut the shape of the cupcake itself out and then paper piece on like the little liner of the cupcake separately as that has like more straight lines rather than having to cut all of this out with a craft knife um, but if you don't have the coordinating die and you want to do it more like this where you can see the outline of the cupcake and only that interior part is the shaker this works perfectly fine as well uh, so once I got all of the, the lines on the interior sliced with my craft knife, I did go ahead and pop that piece out. There were a couple little pieces that stuck a little bit, so I had to go back in with the craft knife and kind of just touch up those areas. And then I realized that I forgot that little area down at the bottom, so I did go back and slice that out as well. I decided that because my cutting with the craft knife was not perfect, I wanted to go ahead and use a black alcohol marker to color in the white areas either where I didn't adhere like I didn't cut quite right or um, you could see the kind of core of the paper from the inside I just colored all of that black now I'm using some uh, scrap plastic that I had on hand and using my tape runner to adhere that to the back of the card. Then I'm going to use this quarter inch foam tape. I did decide to do two layers of the foam tape because I find that having two layers of foam tape here just lets your shakers uh, your elements, shaker elements, move around a little bit more freely. When I do only one layer, they do tend to get stuck a little bit more, and so I like to do it with two layers. If you want to do it with only one layer, just put a little bit less of your shaker elements on the inside, and you'll be good to go. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and build up the foam around the outside of the card as well, because you don't want it to get all smushed and only be popped up in that one section where your shaker is. Uh, and then you can go ahead and remove the the backers for the foam tape. For my shaker elements, I decided to use these cute little hearts that are also from Trinity Stamps. I'll have everything linked down below in the description in case you're interested in checking anything out. Um, you can definitely head there for more information. Uh, while I'm doing the rest of the foam tape here, I did want to mention that this uh, video is part of a hop to celebrate Trinity Stamps. And there is a giveaway, so be sure to check out the description as well for all of the information on how you can be entered to win. All of that will be down there. Um, so don't forget to check that out. All right, here's those little heart shaker elements that I mentioned. I just open them up, pour them right into my little pocket that I've created. And then all I'm going to do is sort of shake it to flatten out the pieces so they're not all bunched up in one spot. And then put the backing piece of paper on the backside of my cardstock there. Um, so I've used the standard A2 size measurement for this, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. Uh, and then you can see I've just attached that directly on. And now I I've got this perfect little shaker bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and color in the base or the wrapper of the cupcake. I decided to just stick with the pink because I wanted to keep this card really simple like I mentioned earlier. I'm using the Spectrum Noir Classique markers. These are an alcohol based marker and I'm only using two here. Um, so two that are from the magenta pink family uh, and I'm just using just a touch of a darker color to kind of add a little bit of a shadow and then going right back over it with the same color I used originally. Off camera I did actually go ahead and use a couple of the ice gray markers from that same classic collection um, to add the little shadow that you can see there so it looked like the cupcake wasn't just like floating in the air on the card. Um, I did make a mistake here but I wanted to leave it in so that you guys could see what I did. Um, I decided to take the, the foam pad out of my misty and see if I could get the sentiment on there but because the entire interior of the card 
wasn't popped up on foam, I couldn't quite get it to stamp. I thought for a minute that my card was ruined and I was kind of bummed, but then I thought, okay, no, I can still save this. So I got out one of my black markers and I just traced over where the lines should have been for the sentiment. If you're going to do this, I highly recommend stamping your sentiment before you assemble your shaker, uh, just so that you don't run into the same problem, or you could always add a sentiment strip instead of doing it this way, and that way you wouldn't have to worry about stamping it out first. In the end, I think it all worked out okay, so I'm still happy with it, but let me know what you think about it down in the comments. All right, to finish off this card, I did go ahead and add a little sentiment strip. I grabbed some pink cardstock and I stamped out, I just wanted to say, um, so that my whole sentiment will be, I just wanted to say, let's celebrate. And then I went ahead and trimmed that with my little paper trimmer there and I used a pair of scissors to cut the side of the piece of cardstock at an angle so it kind of gives it the banner effect. I wasn't sure ex exactly where I wanted it to go on my card so I kind of played with the positioning a little bit but I decided to put it up kind of towards the top there. So I used my Gina K Connect glue and popped it right on, trimmed off the excess, and that finished off the card. I really like the way that this turned out. You guys know I like to do scene cards on my channel a lot, but I've been trying to do more clean and simple, and I hope you guys are enjoying these as well. Uh, don't forget to hop along for your chance to win. Like I said, all that information is in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this this and I'll see you in another one really soon.